Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can vibe code a landing page and get it deployed live completely for free. The primary tools that we are going to use in this tutorial are Cloudflare, Cursor, and GitHub. Now, the first thing that I will do here is create a new repository on GitHub. If you're not familiar with GitHub, I've got other tutorials coming that cover it, but essentially, Git is a version control system and GitHub is a platform that makes it easy to manage your Git repositories and stores them for you. You can think of these repositories as containers that hold all of your code and keep track of all of the changes to it. And the reason we actually have to use it for this tutorial is because Cloudflare connects to GitHub in order to deploy the code that we're gonna write with AI. Okay, and so the first thing I need for this repository that we are going to create is a name. I'm just gonna call it landing. I will go ahead and make it private. You can make it public if you want. Just keep in mind that is exactly what it sounds. Your code will be public for others to see if you do use that option. Now, I am going to put a readme file in here with nothing in it. Now I am going to go ahead and put a readme file in here because I want the repository to go ahead and be created on GitHub system. Next, I will click create repository. And so now you can see what we have here. We have a fresh repository with nothing in it except a readme.md file. That is a markdown file. And inside of it is actually, it's actually this right here. It's rendering it. So we just have literally the name of the repository in there. Now, what I'm going to do next, this repository exists on GitHub, but I need to bring it down to my local machine. So I'm going to go here to this button and I am going to use what's called SSH. I will just literally copy this command. And now we're gonna go into the terminal. So let me pull up my terminal. I am on my local file system here. I'll make this a little bit smaller and in a folder that I call projects. All I need to do now is just do one simple CLI command. It's gonna be git git clone, and then I'm gonna paste in the URL of this repository, and I will hit enter. You're gonna see it do some stuff. It's cloning it, and it has copied it down to my local machine. Now, if you have any trouble with CLI commands, you can also do this with the GitHub desktop app. I will use it in just a moment here. It's pretty good, but it can be a little more approachable for some people that are not as comfortable on the command line. But now what I can actually do is change directory landing, and that will take us into this folder. Now I'm going to do a command that will list the files in this directory, just so you can see what's in here. And there it is. There's the readme.md that I just created on GitHub. It's now on my local machine and stored here. Now we will get back to GitHub in just a moment, but the next thing we need to do is use cursor to actually create the code for the landing page that we want to create. Okay, so I've got cursor pulled up here. This is an older tutorial of mine, so I'm going to open a new folder. I will go to the landing folder and I will just click on open. Okay, now technically this will work if you just put it in the root of this project. So I could literally just put my, I could just have AI write the files and put them here, but I like to put them in an output folder. The name doesn't really matter. I am just gonna call it dist. So I'm creating a folder called dist. Now it's created. And in here is where I want the AI to create the file. I'm actually gonna go ahead and create the file and we're just gonna call it index.html. Okay, now we're gonna have AI actually create the file for us. And I think this should actually just be a single HTML file. I am going to use the agent mode of Claude for this. You have to be careful with this sometimes because it will actually make changes to the files and you need to review all changes when you're vibe coding. And one thing you really need to get in the habit of, even if you're vibe coding, is every key change that you make, and this is subjective of when you go ahead and commit back to GitHub, but after every key change, you need to go ahead and commit those changes into your repository and then push them back up to GitHub. Don't worry if that doesn't make any sense right now, we will go over it in just a moment. The AI model that I'm using for this is Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Seems to work very good for me these days. I've heard some people say it's not great for coding, but I have not yet had any issues of it. That being said, these days, I am not regularly committing production code on a complex code base. 
So your mileage may vary with this model. But now what I'm gonna do is instruct the AI to make the landing page and we're gonna preview it locally to see how it looks. So the tool I am using to do this is called Super Whisper. It is an amazing tool, I definitely recommend it. Okay, so what I want you to do is create a landing page with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for a fictional product. I don't care what it is, you can make up the name, so please generate that landing page. Now it's gonna be interesting to see what product name the AI actually came up with. Okay, so it actually took quite a while to generate this, but it's generated the index.html. It actually is using multiple files, which is interesting. I could tell it to just use a single file. This will work fine. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. And this is actually more ideal in many ways to separate the files out. But what we are gonna do next, one interesting thing, I probably should have given it the context of the existing file that I gave it, but it put it all in the kind of root of the project here. So the first thing I'm going to do is move these files. I'm just gonna delete this. And then I'm just gonna move these into this folder because I do want them there for right now. And I should mention this is probably not a best practice. Ideally, you have set up a process that executes and puts the final output in the dist file or whatever output folder you have. But this is a very, very simple code base as you're gonna see, so this is completely fine. It even generated a readme here. I We don't really need a readme for this, but that's fine. We're just gonna accept the changes. Let me go back into these. I think I've already, yeah, these are all good and I will kind of explain how this works very highly. So we have our index.html file here. We're linking to the styles.css, which is in the same folder now. So that will properly work. And then I believe at the bottom, yes, we have a script tag that is referencing the script.js file right here that it generated. Okay, let me stop ranting here and let's take a look at what this landing page actually looks like. So what I am going to do, I'm going to open the location of the file and then I'm just going to literally open the index.html in Chrome. And here is our landing page. And as you can see, I mean, this looks pretty good for being AI generated. Landing pages are easy to do. Now with AI, they are even easier. Now, of course, if you were doing this for something you actually wanted to launch, I'm sure you would make changes to this. And let's go ahead and at least make one change here. I don't like how the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn are not icons. So I'm literally going to explain it to make them into icons. Okay, this is great, but I don't really like how the social links are text. Can we make them into actual icons? Okay, and as you can see, it's gonna use Font Awesome, which is perfect for this. It is applying the changes to the index.html. And of course, I caused this minor issue because I didn't tell it the new location of the files or give it the context of those files. I am just going to say overwrite. And now I'm just gonna move these files back into the proper location, overwriting the old. And now let's go back to the browser and see how this looks. Let's see if these are actual icons now. Okay, and here they are. It's created actual icons, so that looks good. Now let's talk about how we actually get this landing page deployed. Keep in mind, you could easily go back and forth with the AI in order to tweak things and get it just as you may want it. And I am going to use the GitHub desktop app. Okay, so I will click on add local repository. I will tell it where it is. We're going to go to projects, landing. There we go. I will click on open. I will click on add repository. And now it has the repository in here. Now, what we have to do is commit these changes to the Git repo. This file is actually kind of a Mac file system thing. I'm not going to include that. If I had added what is called a Git ignore file, it would have the proper settings in order to not include some of these files that we don't want. But don't worry about it, I'm just gonna uncheck it. We've got, we're gonna be committing the index.html changes. If we look here, the file was blank before, it did not exist, now it does exist. Here's all the code. We've got the script.js, we've got the styles.css, and we've got the readme.md. Now I need some kind of commit message here. So I'm just going to do what you should never do in a real code base. And I'm just gonna put 
latest. And then I'm gonna say commit to main. If you're wondering what main is, Git has this concept of branches. And what would usually happen in a large project is you would actually make commits to possibly a development branch, a dev branch. And then once a senior developer had reviewed those changes, it might move to another branch like main. Typically, your production branch is the main branch. Back in the day, the name for that branch was master, but for whatever reason, they changed it to main a few years ago. Now that those commits have been made, we actually need to do what's called push it back to GitHub. And so what that means is if I pull this up right now in GitHub, we are not going to see any of our latest code. So I'm now going to click on push. It'll push it to the origin. And now we should be able to go back here, refresh the page. And let's see, yes, things are looking good. We've got the dist folder with our index.html, our script.js, and our styles.css. So this is all we have to do here. We are ready to start the process of deploying this. So now I am in my Cloudflare account, and this is how we are going to deploy this. I am actually going to deploy this to a subdomain of a domain I already own. But first thing you have to do is go to compute and in the workers and pages area. Okay, so now I am going to create a new application. Instead of the workers option, we are actually going to do the pages option. I will click on connect to Git. Mine is already partially connected. I do need to give it access to this repository though. These are some older ones. So I will click on the link here. And then I will just scroll down and update the repositories that it has access to. So let me add the landing. There we go. I will click save. And now its access has been updated. I may actually need to go back here and let's see, we may need to start this again. Let's go to create pages, connect to Git. And there it is, now the repository is showing up. So I'm going to click on landing. We're going to say begin setup. The production branch, this is what I was talking about as far as branching, and we are going to do main. That's the only branch that we have right now. Now our build output directory, this is where it's gonna to look to find the files that it needs. So I'm just gonna type in here dist, and of course the reason I am doing this is because we created the dist folder. And I believe that should be all we need to do here. Let me click save and deploy. And let's see if I've forgotten anything. Okay, so it is deploying. The changes have been done. Now let's see if this actually works. Sometimes this doesn't work until I connect a domain. So let's see. Yeah, and I don't know why this happens actually, but sometimes it doesn't work until you actually connect it to a domain. So let's try that. I am going to go to continue to project. And then from here, you wanna to go to the custom domains area. So I'm gonna click on custom domains. I will set up a custom domain. And now I'm gonna enter in a domain that I own and it's already set up for Cloudflare. If you hadn't already done this and we're just getting started with Cloudflare, you would need to actually first add your domain in order for this to kind of show up. But I am just going to type in landing1.url2text.com. That is a small tool of mine. Now that I have the subdomain, and what I was saying earlier is I am deploying this to a subdomain, right? This is a subdomain here. The subdomain is landing1. The root domain is url to textcom you, of course, may just be putting in, putting in whatever your domain is. It just depends on your use case. I'm going to click on continue. And obviously this domain is already on the Cloudflare system, so it's fully able to set up the DNS records. I'm going to click on activate domain. Now it will say verifying here, but it should really quickly verify it. Let me just actually refresh the page. Okay, and even though it still says verifying after refreshing the page, I am just going to go back here, paste in that domain landing1.urltotext.com, and there we go. There is the landing page that we just vibe coded, and now this is literally live on the internet. Anyone can see it. I will keep this up for a while, but this is how you can easily vibe code a landing page get it deployed completely for free. I paid nothing for this. URL to text is still on the Cloudflare 
free plan. If you're not familiar with Cloudflare, I highly suggest you use them. They have one of the best free plans in history, really, I always say. And these functionalities they provide make it incredibly easy to deploy some very complex things very, very quick. But that is it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to make a comment. I will try my best to point you in the right direction. And if anyone uses this approach and gets a landing page up for an actual real product, definitely share it with me. I would love to check it out.